I'm Brian with Wampler Pedals here today with Seth Morrison of Skillet. And today we're going to kind of check through his rig. Uh, let's look at your guitars first. Yeah, man. You got some really great stuff here. Kinda yeah, we use, uh, we use all PRS. Uh, I've been a PRS fan for since I started playing, you know, so it's kind of cool to be, be able to be using their stuff now. But yeah, these are my touring guitars. I'll, sure. I'll start right sure. here. We got, I got four different tunings, so mm -hmm. each guitar. Okay. A guitar for each tuning. This is in drop B, and this they're all single cuts, 25 inch scale. Um, this is this is. <laughs> you'll find that every each guitar I get to, I'll be like, this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. So, <laughs> Those are great you know, guitars, though. Yeah, this is a just 25 inch scale single cut um, in charcoal burst. Yeah. I use all PRS pickups. Mm -hmm. uh, I love their pickups. It's a yeah. Tremonti in the bridge and a Dragon in the neck. And this one, um, I didn't ask for it, but I'm kind of glad they did it. It's coil tapped. Oh, cool. So. Um, I don't use it much, but if, if I ever need to, it's right. there. There's so. your Telecaster sound. Yeah, you, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's my drop B guitar. This one is in uh, drop C, and this one, these two middle ones are actually my two newest ones, but I opened the box and I was like, ugh, you know, we'll get, I'll let you get up close on that thing, but it's um, it's a tin top, which like in PRS, they use like their tin, mm -hmm. their best wood or whatever. Right. So I opened the, uh, opened the case when this one came in, and it's... It's gorgeous. One of those breathtaking kind of. <laughs> my tech calls it Mars because he thinks it, <laughs> it looks like <laughs> it Mars. Does, it? <laughs> so, this is this is Char. Well, one of Charlie's second favorite, right? <laughs> so yeah, man. Nice. Drop C. This one is drop C sharp. It's just a kind of a platinum metallic mm -hmm. finish. And these last two guitars. This one has 5708s. Uh, this has a 5708. And the neck mm -hmm. and the HFS and the, or I'm sorry, 5708 in the bridge, mm -hmm. HFS and the neck. Nice. And this has become one of my new favorites. So, yeah, that one's drop C sharp. And this one is actually the first guitar they gave me. This is drop D tuning. It's a Tremonti model. I got this. Um, we were on tour, and three days later, a stagehand was loading out my guitars. Mm -hmm and knocked it off knocked it off the stage <laughs> and it had a split right here in the headstock and there's a there's a gash taken out here and down here and wow. i thought the guitar was totaled you know <laughs> i thought it was done and we sent it uh we sent it to them and they repaired it <laughs> so looks great still yeah so yeah, so i mean great. obviously there's different tunings and everything mm -hmm. whenever you get a new guitar is there something uh, do you do you have like a certain so, song in mind that you are looking for um, for the guitar, or or you pick up the guitars that inspire you to play? It kind of all, of stuff? yeah. It all kind of hinges around tunings. Okay. Um, like before this record came out, I just toured with three guitars, but mm -hmm. then we added a drop C tuning, so right. obviously I added a. And I also have a Starla. I don't know if you've heard of PRS Starla. Mm -hmm. I have one of those at home. I don't have on the road right now, but um, that's one of my favorite guitars PRS makes. Really? The Star yeah, um, these and the Starla or between those two I can kind of do anything I want to do <laughs> but it's not out on the road right now so um, but yeah just uh, with each album you know maybe we'll add a tuning so I'll pick the guitar that I think would fit the tuning mm. and the song the best and you know with what we do it's you know kind of rock drop tuning stuff the right. 25 inch scale works works best for that Does you it? know that extra half inch it works well for drop tuning right. and so yeah. Well, very cool. Well, let's check out your uh, your effects next. Real All quick. right, let's do it. Right. Let's head over to the stage left. All right, so this is the pedal board you use, which is pretty cool. Yes. Lots of yes. Cusack lots stuff. Lots of lights. <laughs> yeah. So kind of run us run us through what you got going yeah. on. Yeah. Well, but, but I use I use a two amp setup, a dirty and a clean amp. Um, so it's an AB setup. Some of these pedals go through um, go through the Vox only. Some go through the Mesa only. Some mm -hmm. go through both. So this is just a uh, true bypass looper everything runs through it keeps the signal you know clean right. when it's not on it's it's not on so um which is great because that, that saves you sometimes if a cable goes bad or a pedal goes bad in the middle of the show you just right it's fine so the um, nova delay uh it goes through my vox side only mm -hmm. uh, it's it's one of my, it's been one of my favorite delay pedals for years um you can store up to I think nine presets. I only use four during the show, so okay. I've only got four programmed. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is a Cusack tremolo. Um, 
I was looking for a, a tap tremolo mm -hmm. when this we started this last touring cycle, and uh, I found that one. So mm -hmm. I went with that one. It's pretty cool. Does yeah. a lot of weird stuff. I even haven't even figured out yet. <laughs> he's a great guy too. He's yeah, a, yeah. He's a he's a cool guy. Um, and then the classic, the classic rat is going through the Vox side only. I just used mm -hmm. for that kind of crappy AM hi-fi mm -hmm. kind of sound. Yeah. Um, and then a Cusack screamer. It's just a glorified tube screamer. Um, going through the Vox side only. And I think that's everything that goes through the Vox only. And then we come over here to where the real the real stuff is. <laughs> the uh, the Plexi Drive is going through my Mesa and I use it for I mainly use it for there's a we have a song called American Noise. It's just kind of like that classic classic A C D C, you know, mm -hmm. Marshally sound. I go to I actually go to channel one, clean sound on my uh, boogie and use use the plexi drive. Hmm. And then I, like I was telling you sometimes I'll I will uh, back the gain way down and just use it as a little bit of use a little little bit of hair just on top of grit. leads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then there's a tone bone. Mm -hmm. That's how I switch between amps. And then I got the boogie foot controller. I go to the clean and I use channel 2 for my leads. Mm -hmm. Channel 3 rhythm. Yeah. And then uh I have a delay going through the effects loop of my boogie. Okay. I, I turn off the leads and stuff. And uh, your wall, is it going through both? Or the it wall goes through both. Yeah, it's okay. a Dunlop Joe Bonamassa wall. Okay. As um, well as your clean boost? Clean boost goes through the the uh, boogie only. Okay, okay. Yeah, I I used to use just a normal crybaby, and I, I actually went to a Joe Bonamassa show and had a connection with his floor manager, so I hung out with him all day, and they gave me one of his wall pedals. So I was like, might as well use it, so I threw it on the board, and it's... I love how that wall's. I love the cue on it. It's right. a good amount. Yeah, yeah. So it is that's what I've been using for a bit. And then, like, like I was saying, depending on our set and um, what songs we're doing, what I'm going for, I'll swap any. You know, for the Euphoria, mm -hmm. the Plex Distortion is one of my one of my faves. It's just this. I feel the Plexi Drive works better for this set. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, I've got a buffet of. <laughs> Wampler pedals sitting at home just waiting to <laughs> so well, very cool yeah and uh, your amps are just off stage yep bit, right? they're right down here we cool. can go down there all right looks like you got some pretty cool amps and, and another pedal board as well oh yeah another nothing too exciting in uh in here it's just a pedal drawer with um there's a there's a backup head for each head so okay. um the it's a boogie dual rec mm -hmm. it's probably 85% of my sound just r rhythm lead and then I go to the clean channel like I said for some mm -hmm. stuff but yeah. um we have a uh, a tone bone head switcher in here in case a head goes down middle of the show just hit the button and it right. switches to the backup head so that's been handy a couple times yeah. when we've <laughs> we've done pyrotechnics and one time a spark flew into my main main head and uh, set the case on fire so we <laughs> backup head in a hurry um it's a cool trick once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and then it's just, I have a delay going through the effects loop mm -hmm. uh, just for leads. I'll kick on and a noise suppressor. Mm -hmm. uh, that's about it. A hum, EB Tech hum eliminator. Very cool. And then when and we, sometimes we do acoustic stuff. There's a DI in there. Gotcha. And those are your boxes as well? They are. Um, this is, I use for the cleaner, the cleaner stuff. Um, and kind of the kind of the same thing i just have a noise suppressor mm -hmm. and then the same thing a uh, head switcher in case one goes down um and then to the cabs the boogies are going through going through this marshall cab and the boxes are going through this is a boogie 212 open back i think it was their um their road king series mm -hmm. they built did, did you put uh, different speakers in there or you know what this key? um this just has vintage 30s. Uh, I believe this has greenbacks. Okay. Uh, so this cab has had the speakers change out quite a few times. And our front of house guy, like, there was a boogie cab in the, in the rig for a while, but so the Marshall cab has a little bit more. Boogie cabs are great, but they have a lot of um, low end. Right. You know, and th th this punches a little more. So gotcha. we found that that works well. well very cool. So, yeah. All right, well, thanks for showing us your rig, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Make sure you check out skillet.com. Check out Seth, too, as well as Seth Morrison. And uh, check out wamplerpedals.com. Yes, love Wampler. <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs>